This video is being dubbed by artificial intelligence, so there may be errors in the translation. Hello kings and queens, welcome everyone to another video on the survival game, Mission Evo. In this video, we're going to talk about all the green, yellow, and red rooms where the cards and doors are located. I will also teach you how to fight the zombies and bandits in each of these ruins. Let's start by exploring the green rooms, which are scattered across the map. These rooms open up precious resources that will be necessary for the success of our mission. In addition, you will also find the yellow cards inside the green rooms. But don't worry, facing the obstacles found in these rooms is not a seven-headed bug. Before showing the location of the green rooms, let's learn a little more about the skills of the zombies and bosses that are in each of these ruins. In the ruins where the green card are located, all zombies are easily defeated with a bow and arrow or a machete. Let's start with the zombies normies. These are the lowest class zombies, it's the easiest to eliminate. You can use a bow and arrow or a melee weapon to finish them off quickly. 2. Nurse Zombies This is a slightly stronger zombie class, as well as being faster than regular zombies, but you just have to be careful and everything will be fine. 3. Soldier Zombies This zombie class has more health. The damage is also high considering the other zombies, but to eliminate it safely, just use a bow and aim at its head. Approximately 3 to 4 arrows are needed. 4. Vomiting Zombie this is one of the most annoying among all zombies. Usually his range is little high in addition to having considerable damage to zombies. Always try to avoid acid jacks and eliminate them as quickly as possible. 5. Explosive Zombie Among all the zombies, this one is the most dangerous. If this zombie gets too close, it could be the end of you as the explosion as a near hit kill. However, it is one of the easiest to eliminate usually an arrow in the belly will do the trick. Now let's go to the icing on the cake, I'm talking about the witch. The boss of this ruin considering her as one of the bosses in the game. She is one of the easiest to eliminate. It is possible to knock her down using the machete. Just keep hitting her while trying to get around her. It is also possible to knock it down using a bow I recommend. Making use of gas tanks and electrical boxes to give more damage to the boss. Now that I've explained all the zombies and the ruined boss, let's begin our exploration. Let's start with Nelson's Lumberyard Ruin. In this ruin, the location of the card can vary. I have already found it in three different places inside a small hut. Barn and an open shed, the green room is located in one of the entrances. Here inside the green room, you can find the yellow card and boxes with resources. Let's go through the Cloudsville ruin. Here I already found the card into different places. The two are in barns and are on opposite sides of the ruin. The green room is in the central house. Now just take the green card that is on top of a box and then go to the central house of the ruin. And that's it, another completed ruin. Let's go to Ruin River Bank Retreat. In this ruin, I had already found the card in three different places. Inside one of the twin houses and inside two cabins. And the card room is in a house next to the windmill. And all cards in this ruin are found on top of tables. Now go up to the second floor and explore the green room. The downfall of now is Maynard Loggers. In this ruin until today, I only found it in a place. A small shed or warehouse. The card room is in a small cabin next to the barn. The card is on top of a box in the center of the shade. Now the card room has no error. Just find the cabin and access the place. Let's go now to Meeker's Mill. 
In this ruin I already found, the card into different places. Inside the red barn and in the bedroom. The card room is at one of the entrances to the ruin, next to the barn. We have now arrived at Red Pine Ranch. Here I found the card in just two locations in this ruin, in a rectangular house and a small cabin that's not far from the other structures in this location. The card room is closer to the center of the ruin and is also in one of the rectangular houses. Now take the card that is on the table and go to the card room that is in the center of the ruin. Now let's go to Little Town. The city is small but I have already found the card in three different places. The card room is on the top of one of the houses. All cards are found on top of tables. Now go up to the second floor and explore the green room. We are going to Roanoke. Here until today I only found the card into places, in a small room near two large tanks, and in a small cabin next to the abandoned building. The card room is inside one of the twin houses. Let's go to Sandy Plains Ruin. The card is found in one of the houses, and also inside a small cabin. The card room is inside the apartments. To get the house card, you need to go through a hole in the wall. Just bend down and pick up the card on the table. Now go to the apartment and go up to the top floor. Now we will go to Point Slope. In this ruin until today, I only found it in only two places they are the first house in. The ruin and the small room next to a water tank. The card room is inside one of the twin houses. To find the card, you need to go up to the second floor. Go through the window and climb on the roof of the house. And then enter through a hole in the ceiling. The card room is on the second floor of the twin house. We reached the end of the green rooms. Now we will go to Alpine Mine. In this location, the card is found inside one of the small rooms in the ruin and also inside a small barn. As the ruin is so big, I couldn't get a proper image to show you. Then I will mark with an arrow where the barn is located. The card darum is inside one of the houses next to a tower and water tank. And the card is found on top of tables or bookshelves. Now enter the houseware. The card room is in explore the place. Before we move on to the yellow rooms, I'll give you some tips in case you have new green card ruins in the future. Focus on exploring the small cabins and rooms as it is. Very difficult to be in large structures the cards. And always check the tables and boxes in the ruin. So let's go now to the ruins that have the yellow room. Just like I showed you how to get past the zombies in the ruins of the green room. I'll show you some tips on how to get past the bandits in the yellow room. Bandit and sniper to take him down. I recommend using long range weapons because there's nothing better than a sniper. Taking down another sniper, a street bandit. Bandits and rogues walk close to other bandits so eliminate them at a time. Rogue captain be careful. The captain's damage is higher than the other bandits. So use some place to protect yourself and be cautious. 
Bandit Dozer be very careful with this bandit, because his weapon has great capacity, and if he finds you, your chances of survival will be low. Then eliminate them from long distances. Vulture boss this as the boss of the ruin. I recommend not attacking the boss, as his damage is much higher than that of the bandits. But if you want to learn how to eliminate on the card above, I teach you how to do it. So without further ado, let's go to the first ruin in the yellow room. Let's start with Port Harlow. In this ruin, you can't go wrong finding the card room, as it is located in the largest structure in the city. Center in addition to being super protected by bandits. First step to get to the card room, choose one of the entrances to the ruin, enter the first floor and find the stairs to the second floor. After finding it, go up to the second floor. Now enter the first door on the right and then go through the hole in the wall. Now you also find a climb to the third floor. On the third floor, go to the balcony. On the balcony, look for red cloth on the side protections. Go through that cloth and look for a bridge. Passing over the bridge, you will find the yellow row. Now inside the yellow room, you will also find the red card and it will be on. Top of the white counter next to the boxes. We will now go to Mount Bedford. The ruin itself has quite large, but just like Port Harlow, just look for the structure that has bandits around it. And this ruin this structure is located on the side and is identical to the one in Port Harlow. So to build it, just follow the same steps as the previous ruin. Let's go now to River City. In this ruin, the card room is found inside the school. To be exact, it's in the biggest structure in the city. And to do it, I recommend going through the front. Enter the ruin and look for the stairs, then go up to the pet house. On top of the pet house, there will be two holes in the roof. Enter through the hole on the left where the yellow room is. And when you enter the room, you will find the red card on top of one of the tables. We're coming to the end of the yellow rooms. Now it's time to go to Cape Hattersburn. This is a ruin that is located in the desert, and I personally think it's one of the easiest to make. It is a grayish structure, and of course as full of bandits around. First step, enter the ruin and look for the stairs to the second floor. Now that you're on the second floor, look for a ladder that's on the roof. Going up that last ladder, you'll notice a hole in the roof. Enter it and go down to the first floor. Now just swipe the card and explore the room. And the red card is located on top of a chair. Let's go now to the Silver City. And just like Cape Hattersburn, the structure that is located in the yellow room is identical. So just take the same route that you will find. So we finished the yellow rooms. Now let's get ready to make the red room. First, I'll explain about the bandits you'll encounter. To be more exact, we're going to face the same bandits from the yellow rooms only more evolved. You will use the same strategies I taught you to eliminate the yellow rooms. Then I would just do a short presentation. Elite Sniper. Furious. Captain Furious. Panzer. And the boss of the ruins came. And about these bandits, I will not delve further. So enough with the winding up then, let's get down to business. We arrived at our last room and it is located in Port Texan. And it's the only one that has the red room so far. To do this ruin, I recommend taking the side closest to the hangar. And to make it simpler to understand, I made a simple animation of the path to the red card room. So now let's show you how to do it in practice. First step, enter the hangar. Now inside the structure, go left. Arriving at a ladder, go up, now go to the bridge and follow the entire corridor ahead.
and ready we finally found the red room. Now swipe the card and farm the location. And finally, I'll give you one more tip to help you. If you want to know the location of current map cards, join the Discord group, go to the general chat and write iMap. And so the bot will show you the current map with the cards. So we come to the end of this video guys. You've noticed that I haven't posted videos in a while. The reason is that the channel lost monetization and so far I have not been able to recover. But so you don't run out of videos. I created three new channels focused only on mobile games news. Another one similar to ours in content channel in English. Our new channels will be in the description. So anyone who can give a little moral there I appreciate it. Thank you all so much and See you next time. That's it. Thanks. I went.